Nancy. Mrs. Martin. Oh, uh, Marcia said you were out here, so I just... I wondered if I could join you. Well, of course. Oh, th that's a lovely drawing. Thank you. Laney gave it to me. Won't you sit down? Please. Honey, uh... We need to talk. You do? About what? About you and Tad. Don't look worried. I know the whole story. And I have only one question for you. It's a very important question. Since my son is the father of your child, do you want him to marry you? You low-down lying coward. Get up and fight like a man. Ah, William, long time no see. Damn you, Tad! You used my sister! That was a nice shot. It's a very nice shot. You two-faced. Good right. Yellow bellies! Son of a... I don't think you have all the facts. No, I got all, all the facts, Ted. You're gonna fight me right now, or you can sit there and take it. Because either way, I am beating the living hell out of you. You finished? Yeah, I'm done. Look at that. <laughs> sister to give up her baby to a guy like Adam Chandler. Hey, Chandler is a saint compared to you. Some guy who fathers a child and forgets about it. Listen, William, believe me, I'm the best thing that ever happened to your sister since she set foot in Pine Valley. You're a liar, Tad. And if I ever hear one bad word from her about you, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break every bone in your body. You hear me? I'm going to see Laney. Now remember what I said. One bad word and your dog meat. You didn't even stay to help me clean up. Now I understand why you asked me all those questions at the hospital the other day. Oh, Mrs. You, Martin, wanted, I, you wanted to know about Tad's adoption because he refused to stand by you. Oh, he didn't refuse to stand it's by you. Right, it's didn't. all right. I understand. I understand how those things can happen, I think. Ah. In any event, Tad is our son. And the baby that you're carrying is our grandchild. And all in the world, Joe and I want to do is to help you. 
But you, you can't make him marry me. No, we, 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 we don't want to, to, to force anything. But if it's what you want, it's the right thing to do. And Joe and I brought our children up to do the right thing. I mean, Tad's no exception. He's over 21. I don't I give think... a hoot in hell how old he is. He's responsible for his own actions. And he will account for them. And all that matters at this point in time is you and that baby. Well, I can take care of the baby myself. I mean, I can. I really? Know. I know you're very proud. And, and you're very independent. And I admire that. And Tad, Tad has his good qualities, too, you know, even though I think, I think he treated you very shabbily. But in his heart, he's a, he's a kind and he's a gentle person. I know he didn't come forward fast enough for you, but he, he is loving enough to make a good husband. Dixie, can you see that? Of course I can see that, but... Oh, then, then it's settled. Mrs. Martin, Tad is, is a fine person from a fine family, and I think that any woman would be proud to have his name, but nobody can force him to marry me. Honey, all you have to do at this point in time is to take care of that brand new precious little life that you're carrying, and you just leave everything else up to... Joe and to me. You don't have to worry about anything in the world. And I tell you, mm, I'll be in touch with you. I'll be in touch with you very, very soon. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. The woman is he woke. We're going out to lunch. Uh, Adam was called away on business. It's such a beautiful day, huh? Are you warm enough? I'm fine. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go finish that research uh, assignment that I was working on. Dixie, um, I know you're upset about last night. I am, too. I tried to, to give you enough time so that you could, you could sort of sort out your thoughts. But now I think it's time to talk. That is, if you have anything that you want to say to me. I'm very sorry for lying to you. I really never meant to. I know that Tad wasn't res ready for the responsibility. I understand that. Can I go now? Dixie, we, Dixie, we haven't had a conversation since, since Tad's announcement. Is there something more to this? I mean, something that you don't want to say to me? But I don't hate your... Dixie. I understand a little about what you feel, and I sympathize, and I'm, and I'm sorry that you're in such turmoil over this. You would have been such a good mom. I will be again. And you fix up the nursery and everything. Dixie, don't worry about it, all right? You and Adam and I, we discussed this adoption a, a long time ago, and I, I knew I had to prepare myself for any eventuality. And I tried to make that clear, that whatever you decide, I would accept it. I'm really never going to understand why you are so nice to me. Dixie, you didn't, you know, you didn't ruin my life. In a very strange way, I feel like you gave it back to me. When Tad stood up and said that he was the father, I realized how much I love Adam and how much my marriage means to me. And so now we'll have to focus on that and nurture that while we wait for another chance to adopt a baby, okay? So what do you... What are you going to do? Have you and Tad made any decisions? No. You know what my wish would be for you? That someday you and Tad 
have a relationship like mine and Adam's. I mean, when you love the right man and you trust him, it makes the pain and disappointment in life a lot easier to bear. See, there's no pressure, okay? There's no pressure, there's no rush. You can consider this your home as long as you need to, and whatever decision that you and Tad make, Adam and I will stand by you. I've, uh, been redecorating. Does the other guy look just a hmm? little like Sally Fields, you know, just around the eyes? Mm -hmm. It wasn't burglars. Uh, no, Ma, nobody did it. Uh, it nobody, nobody did all it. All right, all right, Ma, Ma, somebody did it with a very big axe to grind. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll clean it up and I'll pay for everything that's broken. Uh, Does this have something to do with Dixie Cooney? Yeah, it's her brother Will. Claims I own ten bucks. I'll bet he had a lot more to say than that, considering his sister's condition. Oh, honey. Great. Honey, why didn't you tell us? No wonder Will tried to break your arm. Learning his sister's just been impregnated by the town Lothario cannot be easy to take. Come on, Dad. Town Lothario, most of the women in this town won't even look at me. Honey, why did it take you so long to admit it? Because my, I couldn't come forward till I was ready, till the time was right. Is it all right? Was it broken or what? No, no, it's just bruised. Responsible man wouldn't have waited. I'm sorry, okay? I thought you were careful. Dad, I made a mistake. Dad, what you did was to create life. And when that baby's born, it is going to be your responsibility. Dad. This is serious business. Well, these past few months, I thought you had uh, rounded a corner, Tad. I thought the old Tad had gone, and uh, a new responsible Tad had taken his place. Guess I was wrong. No. No. No, it's all right. It's fine. It's just being out. So, uh, what you're saying is, um, wants to screw up, always to screw up, right? Tad, listen, we've, we've, we've got to talk about what to do about this mess. Which one? I don't care. I don't give a damn what you do. No, I, I don't care. I don't care. You call the church, you put a gun to my head, I don't care. I'm sure you two will have a great time figuring out the rest of my life. Hey, hold on, Tad. Tad? How do you like that? Didn't even stay around to help clean up this mess. Oh, um, Dixie's brother and I had a difference of opinion. <laughs> Are you sure you don't need to see a doctor? Mm. I saw one. My father gave me a look. Tell you something, Brooke, I'm not too high on anybody's list these days. Well, certainly not Adams. I mean, he's convinced that you are lying, that you are absolutely not the father of this baby. Well, makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, he was so excited about the adoption, and he's just probably overreacting, that's all. Look, Brooke, I'm I I'm not want... the one that you need no, to... No, 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 really... no, no, I'm serious. I, I threw a... A monkey wrench into your plans, and I, I'm sorry for that. I'm just glad you came forward, Tad, for Dixie's sake. I just find it so curious that, that she felt she had to protect you. I mean, that, that you kept everything such a secret. No, she's a very upright person. The thing about Hal in Center City, I mean, did you dream that up, or did she? Or... Look, I, I wonder if she knows I'm here. I was supposed to meet her at one. Yeah, she'll be down soon. What about the guy being married? I mean, what was that? Was that... Something to throw us off the track? Yeah. Mystery couple of the year, huh? So how long has this been going on? You know, 
You look marvelous. Did you do something new to your hair or something like that? Where did you manage to meet? Not here, in this house. <sighs> not at your parents, I'm sure. Look, I, I'm not really trying to be nosy. I'm just trying to fit all the pieces together. Okay. We found a private place, some place where there, there wouldn't be any interruptions. The Cloud Nine Motel? That's Lee Bay. Come on. Well, so where? The boathouse. Of course, the boathouse. You'd have privacy, you'd be safe. You wouldn't have any interruptions. Yeah. Yeah, the boathouse. Listen, uh, you think we should call upstairs? I, I, I don't know if something's wrong with her. And... Yeah, good lord. What happened to you? Oh, nothing. I had a little accident. Hmm. A little woman. She worries. Oh, oh excuse me. Um, I have some things to see to in the kitchen. Okay. Do that again. What? You're upset because I kissed you in front of Brooke? You are. Oh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you something. People in our situation that are expecting the blessed event, don't just shake hands, okay? Well, you are a pervert. I am not a pervert. Listen, I'll tell you something. You and I have got to keep up appearances, whether we like it or not. This is hurting me a lot more than it's hurting you, I'll tell you that. Will's a great brother. Oh, yeah. You know, he beat the tar out of three boys back in high school. Mm. He has a really great right to uh, punch, but he drops his left when he's going to throw a roundhouse. Now she tells me. What about your parents? Well, my father thinks I'm vacillating between uh, contemptible and worm-like, but other than that, they're all right. I think right about now they're considering redecorating. Oh, boy, Ted, I'm so sorry. It wasn't your fault. You, know, you could have stopped all of this. How? By telling the truth truth, huh? Yes, that you are not the baby's father and that you only did this to save me from Adam. Tell you what, I'll tell the truth if you tell the truth. This way, Mrs. Thank Martin, you. Dr. Martin. Uh, please, uh, have a seat. Uh, can I get you some tea or coffee? No, uh, no, thank you, Mr. Sloan. Uh, if you just let Palmer know we're here, please. Right away, sir. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Cortland, Dr. and Mrs. Martin are here. Thank you, Sloan. Well, Joe Ruth, Hello, you're right on time. Mm -hmm. Sorry to trouble you, Palmer. Oh, what's this all about? It's about our son. Ah, I was afraid of that. Our son and your niece. We want to talk to you about Tad and Dixie's wedding. <laughs> 